Even though I got it from Walmart, it's flashy. <laughs> Hey guys, it's V. Today I've got another lasting impression for you guys and it is on a new product that I recently discovered through the YouTubes because Samage on YouTube here was talking about this brand and that it was a dry shampoo and that it was a powder dry shampoo. And we all know I love powder dry shampoos because I don't really care for the aerosols as much, even though they're a little bit easier to control. They don't control the oil as much on my head, if you know what I'm saying. So I got this new one and it is from the brand Verb and it is the Gentle Cleanse and Light Volume Dry Shampoo. And it comes in this bottle here and this is two ounces, so very decent amount of product. This was $14, so not a bad price for what you get. And you've got this awesome applicator, which I mean, I'm just excited. Mainly just, I don't think this is open. <laughs> I'm just I'm just doing that for shits and giggles, I guess. Mainly excited because of this applicator because as you guys remember, maybe on the Lush No Drought Dry Shampoo, I'll link that video down below for you guys. I did a review on that and it went a little crazy on me. So I'm really excited for this applicator because it looks like it's gonna be really amazing. Oh. Okay, I was like, why is this not coming out? It's got a little stopper in there, but it just like wasn't attached to the... It doesn't really have a crazy fragrance. But anyways, I got this at Sephora and it was $14, like I said. So I just really wanted to try it out for you guys and see how it works. And it's pretty hard to get this little cap out of here. There we go. Kind of weird how that wasn't attached to the top of the bottle, but I'm not going to judge it too early here. Yeah, like I said, super, super light fragrance. I can barely even smell it. I smell more of my perfume that I have on than I smell of that. So let's read the back of the bottle, shall we? This says it has no parabens, no glutens, and no sulfates, which is always good. Verb dry shampoo refreshes hair, removes oil, boosts body, and prevents damage from washing and styling. This non-whitening formula instantly absorbs impurities and re-energizes your look. So it says it's a non-whitening formula. That's really interesting because a lot of these are whitening formulas. Whoa. I just like poured a little on my hand and it came out a whole lot at once. So that's uh, good to know because now I know to be careful with it. But anyways, it's a really, really fluffy consistency. It's very different than the Lush one. It's a little bit more finely milled than the Lush one. Feels like it's going to be good though. So... I'm gonna wipe this off of my hand so that I can put it on my head. And uh, as you guys can see, this is second day hair. I washed my hair on Friday night and it is Sunday morning right now. So I've got some oils. If you guys are strangers to my channel, you'll know that I've told y'all before that I do have scalp psoriasis. And if you ever had doubts as to whether or not I was lying, you will see that today because I do have a little bit of an outburst going on. So I do have a tiny bit of flaking. I'm sorry if it's disgusting, but I didn't think twice about doing this video today because I'm human and I have psoriasis on my scalp. And that's just who I am. And you can love me or hate me, but I really hope you love me. So, of course, if you did watch my Lush video, you know that that one went freaking insane on me. So, of course, I learned from my mistakes as any good person does. And I brought a towel this time <laughs> for around my shoulder area and it's a flashy towel. Even though I got it from Walmart, it's flashy. <laughs> so, um, it's time to unleash the beast, which is my hair at the moment and uh eh, ow. I have a really sensitive scalp I don't know if I've ever told y'all that before but my scalp is a very sensitive sensitive beast but anyway so now we've got my hair as you guys can see here especially around my ears I get really oily and around my bangs I get really oily that's really that's pretty gross um yeah so we are just going to 
put this all over my head and see how well it controls my oils throughout the day. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited for this. So uh, yeah, let's read the directions on here. It says, divide hair into sections, apply products into roots, tilt bottle and lightly squeeze product along created part. Allow powder to set for two minutes. Massage scalp to create volume. Brush hair thoroughly until powder is evenly distributed. So I need some more clips other than that, just one. But it didn't really say how to section the hair. Maybe I'm just gonna section it into two sections. I think that'll, that'll suffice, right? So we're gonna do the beautiful, beautiful center part right now. And uh, we are gonna, my hair's really knotted right now. Cause it's my, I just woke up hair. All right, so we're going to have a beautiful center part. Sexy, I know. And we're going to section that off. So I'm gonna take one half of this. And I'm just gonna section it. Raw hair, beautiful. All right, so then it just says to lightly do this. Let me use a mirror. I really, really like how this is coming out. It is not overwhelming. It's really easy to control how much comes out, which is really nice. So I'm just going to put this along the root area, like it said, even down the back. It looks like a lot, I know, but my hair really, really soaks this stuff up. So. <laughs> I'm going to put quite a bit of it throughout my hair. I know it probably looks like I'm using too much, but like, how can you use too much dry shampoo? And the towel is gone, so forget it. It fell off within seconds. So we're just going to keep going here. And I'm just going to put it all along the other section of my hair. I've had dry shampoos that have had applicators like this before and I've really, really liked them because this applicator just makes it so easy to put this in your hair. Okay, so then I'm just gonna make sure to really get that root area. I always look crazy when I do this. This is what I do like almost every morning considering I wash my hair every like four days. I can smell it a little bit more. It has a very, it's just a fresh smelling scent. It's really nice, actually. I really like it. It's very faint, so it's not gonna overpower my hair, but it smells fresh. I like that. So now that we have it all over my head, I'm going to wait two minutes. It's 12.30 right now, so I'm just gonna wait, wait my two minutes, and uh, then I'm gonna do what it said next, which is massage scalp to create volume. So I will be back in two minutes. All right, I'm back, it's 12.32, so now I'm just going to massage into scalp to create volume. I've already got a lot of volume, considering, I mean, my hair is just big in general, so the volume aspect of this, I'm like, okay, whatever, but the whole no white cast, I'm interested in. Even though I honestly don't really care if I have much of a white cast because I just don't care. <laughs> if I have dry shampoo in my hair, you're gonna see a little bit of white and honestly, I really just don't care. <laughs> if I'm being 100% honest with you guys. All right, let me look in this mirror here. Shaking it all around. It's looking a lot cleaner, which is good. Got it all in my roots on the sides. It's looking good. Got it all mixed in right here. And the only place I'm seeing a slight white cast is right on my hair part, which since I have scalp psoriasis, that happens with literally everything because my scalp just has like a layer of skin on it that just that kind of stuff sticks to it's really disgusting i'm sorry that i have to explain it but <laughs> other than that i think this is looking really good and i do think that it actually 
added a little bit of volume to my hair, so I'm mad at it. So I think that we are pretty much, pretty much mixed in. So I am going to go about my day and I will be back later to check in with you guys. It is now 1234 in the afternoon. So I will be back in a couple of hours to check with you guys. I right now am going to actually move all of my makeup from our bathroom in our bedroom to our guest bathroom because it is just taking up far too much space in our actual bathroom and Blake is really excited for me to move it into the other bathroom. So I will show you guys little tidbits of that and then we're gonna go to a comic book store which is exciting and then we are going to go to Kroger probably to get some drinks and yeah that is pretty much it so I will check in with you guys in a couple of hours. been a long day it is now 10 47 at night so it has uh, it's been about 10 hours since I put this dry shampoo in my hair and I gotta say it's pretty good I don't have any great thoughts but I don't have any terrible ones either it still looks fine it really doesn't even look too greasy and I even took a bath where I was like you know semi sweating because it was really hot water and it it doesn't look bad it really doesn't I mean it doesn't look extra greasy or anything like the only extra greasiness I see is like a tiny bit right here but I did notice a little bit of some buildup I don't know if you guys can even see it on camera but I can see it in real life kind of on my root area there's a tiny bit of just a little bit of buildup, but other than that, this feels really good and it really doesn't feel like there's a lot in my hair. Only when I can really feel into my roots, I feel a little bit of buildup. But other than that, this feels really good. I'm totally gonna get more use out of it. I really love that it's super finely milled and it's only $14, so it's really not too expensive because powder dry shampoos last for freaking ever. So I'm really happy with it and I give it a good review. I think that it's a good powder dry shampoo and the container that it's in definitely adds on to the greatness of this product because it is in a really smartly packaged container for what it is compared to the Lush one, which was not smartly packaged in my opinion. So yeah, that is everything. If you guys like this video, be sure to show some love to that like button down there. And if you subscribe, you can be one of my gypsies and every single one of you guys counts so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.